welcome back to the channel we are here with the uh 2022 four rangers it's been a minute since i made a video here we go let's get those lights on see we got the uh light on the fender got that one on looks like it's about to rain today is what the sky looked like. So it was about time to wash the truck. We got a couple bugs on the front. There go one right there. But of course, since it's going to rain, I, I want to say on the radio, it said it might rain a few times this week. So definitely going to be skipping the wash for a few days at least. You know, I like to wash it when the sun's going to come back out. Now, sometimes I clean it. Like, if it's going to rain, like, maybe twice that week, the beginning of the week, and then the end, I'll wash it right after the first rain because that dirt accumulates on the truck, you know, from that rain, if, especially if you drive it in the rain. And then so you have to ride with that dirt on there until you wash it again. But since I want to keep the truck looking very clean, I go ahead and wash that dirt off as soon as it gets on there. And that helps keep that paint in great shape. Go ahead and put that back on automatic. So this little thing here, uh, this setup for uses this in a lot of different vehicles. Side view of the uh, Ford Ranger. We are here at the baseball field. Somebody, I believe, hit a home run. The whole crowd is cheering. Show you guys how the tires are holding up. Plenty of thread left. Right now we're right about 20,000 miles. Um, let me see. Only thing I believe these brakes are getting about. Let's see, a little bit worn. So I know I've been hearing a little squeaking with these. Um, just a light squeak. So I'm looking at the brakes now. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but let's see. One second. But one of the brakes. Let's see. Looks like it might have a. Get you guys an angle on it. You guys can see like the brake is chipped right in there. Right in there. Maybe because it's got a good amount of pad left on there, so. Now these look on the back, they look a little bit more Little bit more thinner on the back yeah we'll have them look at it when we take it up to the dealership for service we haven't been doing any towing lately probably start back very soon so i'll definitely make you guys another video on that so if you haven't seen those other ones i'll try to leave the link to those other towing videos in the uh, description below so this mirror kind of lost some of its strength. Um, came out one day and somebody had bumped into the mirror and knocked it back this way, which is okay to fold it in, but folding it back. But anyway, so when I took it through the uh, car wash, the, the blower, you know, when it drives your car off, it blew the mirror back this way, I guess because it lost some of its strength. But the other mirror, it stayed strong. It was good to go. So that's something, um, it's, it's not, like I said, it's not loose, but it's just it's not as strong as it was before somebody decided to bump into it. And the crazy part about it is that I park in the back all the time. So if I go to the store or wherever I go, I, I try to park in the back unless it's just empty up front. The only time I park up front if it's empty or very few cars, but I always park in the back. And, of course, you know how it is when you park in the back. For some reason, somebody's going to come park right up on you. And then they got out and, and knocked the mirror. So that's because they pulled so close. So then you have to check and make sure there's no extra marks on the doors. I know I had to rub a few off. People, I don't know why they do that, but they'll park super close. And now I know one reason the truck kind of attracts people, because if you see like a nice clean vehicle in the back of the parking lot, you're going to be like, oh, that's clean. And you're going to want to park next to it. You know, so... <laughs> That's the sucky part. It attracts people to park. And then I know it's the truck because, like, I usually back in. And so you'll come out 
they'll be in park right beside you and they have bagged their car in right next to yours so it, yeah it's just one of those things but hopefully they don't you know damage the truck you know i don't i don't care about where people park but just don't get out and beat the truck up because that's the purpose of me parking in the back is to keep you from uh well, parking too close and getting out dinging my doors and knocking the paint off and knocking my mirrors off the truck so it's part of the process overall everything is still looking nice clean um you know we're getting up there a little bit you, know, you see the muffler i wonder is there like something to keep that stuff looking new probably not i used the muffler be the first to turn brown I'm not sure if that's dirt or just from the heat over time. You may add uh, like an exhaust tip because I think the uh, bumper to bumper warranty is almost up. Well, that's it. Well, not almost up. That's at 30,000 miles. Definitely going to be doing some upgrades. Like I'm going to switch the grill out, all that good stuff. I didn't want to do any upgrades until after the warranty. Um, so as soon as that warranty is up, going with a super nice grill do something with the, I think I can go ahead and do the tow hooks that shouldn't make a difference but I don't want to mess with this um I don't know you know they might try to say hey you took something off and then you know our, our dealerships they, they trip a lot so if I was to take this grill off they'll try to avoid the warranty just because you took the grill off they'll say well by you taking the grill off you had to loosen something else up and this and that so you caused the problem so I'm just gonna wait because you never know you might take the grill out then the light go out they want to say, well, serve the light out because you probably bumped it when you took the grill out. So, I'm trying to leave it factory. And then we'll, um, you know, after that bumper to bumper up, then I can do that. We'll still have the powertrain warranty. That's good for 60,000 miles. So, me taking the grill out, it's not going to affect the powertrain. That was somebody in the F, uh, looked like an F-150. With the half door on the back, giving it the uh, giving it the beans. So I have seen a couple in town, a um, couple of these with this color, you know, with the white and black setup. They usually have like the black wheels. Um, I think I only seen like one with the FX2 on it. I only seen one with that. So it's one thing I like about it. You don't see a lot, and if you do, you're not gonna see this. You know, maybe one here and there that looks exactly like yours. But if I was to have an L150, I'd probably see about 10 or 15 in a day, easy, that looks exactly like yours. So that's the cool thing. Um, you don't have to see your vehicle every time you pull out somebody driving the same vehicle. That's pretty much the update on the Ranger. I didn't know they had like the little design right here. It's not, so you got the design on that part, but then they also got like a piece right here on the um, housing right here, whatever you call this part, the outside. So yeah. Well, on that, thank you guys for tuning in, watching the channel. I will catch you on the next video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, let me know what other videos you guys want to see on this truck. And I'll catch you on the next one.